And fans have traveled by planes, trains, and cars to come see the Crimson Tide play, but one fan in particular has traveled a rather long way to get to Bryant-Denny Stadium. WVUA 23's Megan Halson has more. Will Garvin, arguably the ultimate college football fan, has been traveling around the country since August, spending each Saturday in a different stadium. For about a decade, I've been doing this trip in a fantasy man manner. That is, I've been doing it on paper. I've been working out a, 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 a matrix of how do I see all the top teams and never see one twice. So far, Garvin has been to eight different college football games across all three divisions. But this Saturday's game will be his first SEC game of the trip and his first time in Bryant-Denny Stadium. Garvin is excited to finally see a game in a stadium he calls a shrine to college football. As I go around the country, I notice traditions. There's the blue turf at uh, Boise State. There's uh, the Traveler the Horse at Southern Cal. Uh, there's Ralphie the Buffalo at, at, at Colorado. Everybody would like to have Alabama's tradition because all these wonderful mascots and all these little, all, all these nice actions that you can do, Alabama's tradition is winning. It was Alabama's game day rituals and winning record that made Tuscaloosa a must-visit city on this Clemson alumni's road trip. One tradition in particular caught Garvin's eye. Uh, learned about the cigar tradition, so everybody should know I truly have my cigar. Hopefully, the Crimson Tide will give Garvin a chance to light it this Saturday. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Megan Halson, WVUA 23 News. And Garvin's next stop on his college football tour will be to see the University of St. Francis Cougars take on the Linwood University Lynx in Fort Wayne, Indiana.